Hello everybody and welcome back to Aurora 4X. I of course am Sir Beardian and today we are going to be continuing on uh, readying our fleet for uh, a deployment into Southport. Now, uh, in the last episode we had just finished research rate 500 which is awesome, picking up a whole heap of additional uh, research points. Woo wee 37,000 almost with 17 labs. We yeah, we got 20 labs and they're not producing that much. Damn. Um starting up 40% time cost savings for shipyards, which is going to make upgrading and tooling our shipyards uh fairly significant. Uh we got some ground units currently in training, but they're still gonna be a while. Uh September next year. I don't think we're going to need to wait that long. Now, we're going to kidnap. Now, uh, before we actually get too stuck into it, uh, I did want to touch a little bit on point defense fighters. Now, where are they? Here it is. Okay. So, this is the Iron Shield that we designed there earlier uh, in the last episode. And it has come to my attention that the job of the Iron Shield is not to defend the fleet. It's not. The job of the Iron Shield is to defend the strike group. Now, uh, this would more or less be enough to defend the strike group. Travels fast enough, it's got lots, lots of shots. But I also then went ahead, but it doesn't have the range, and so, and I went ahead and we designed it a little bit. So, this is the temporary. Uh, correct version of the Iron Shield. Now, it's temporary because it is actually missing a, a few little components that I had to redesign. Um, I've dropped it down to only a single rail gun, um, but it also needs uh, the higher tracking speed for 30k for the fire control, and it also needs a slightly lesser power uh, power plant big for, to suit the single rail gun. Uh, the, the weight distribution between these two should balance out. Uh, to not need too much, uh, and then it also has the same range and f uh, the same range fuel and well, not speed, but the same range at least in distance for uh, as the uh, magpies and the rest of them about 1.2, 1.3 billion. Um, and this ship ha and this one has is going to have closer to about 24 for 25,000 kilometers a second in terms of uh, speed and that is significantly better than two times the 12,000 right so if you double this it's 24 so as long as it's more than 24,000 kilometers a second or at 24,000 kilometers a second then we get the same effective firepower as the twin gun iron shield but um we, can, we also have much more capacity to shoot down faster missiles. So this is all good and well, but when the missile is doing 40,000 kilometers, that's a 25% hit rate. That's bad. Uh, with this, um, it's only a 50% hit rate. So, I don't know. It'll probably be, probably be better. Um, now, I believe I have queued up. So we got the... Did, did I queue them up or no? I don't think I did. We need one sensor. There it is. Uh, the 30k fire control. So sensors, cancel electronic countermeasures, iron shield. There you are. And now cue that back up. Okay, we got that. And for power. Cancel that real quick. Whew, damn, he's good. We got a couple. We got a couple power guys on his tails though. Um, and then we want the 3.2 Tokamak, followed by continuing on this, and then Mag Fusion Reactor. Okay. Right. So let's do a week. See if we can get these techs out.
I think the iron, the fire control might take an extra week. The power plant should be done immediately, though. Come on. Give me a production cycle. Ah, okay, we got a new system, Bendigo, which has fuck all. Okay, do a graph survey then. So Bendigo is over here. Let's get that production done. Get I mean, that tech. Come on. Okay, what's what's the hold up? Hours. Okay. Fucking hell. Yeah, it's only running a couple of hours at a time. Ah, something's being annoying. Twenty hour, yay. <sighs> Twelve hour. What are you up to now? I think we're up to like day three. Up from 19th to the 22nd, so yeah, that's day three. Three days in out of five. There we go. Okay. So we finished the iron, the uh, standard iron shields. Typhoon fire control is done and power plant is done. Excellent. So let's go. Let's go to our iron shield and let's just make sure the design actually works first. So we so we have four five two tons and we are doing thirty k and thirty point two. Okay, so we shaved two tons. Awesome. Awesome. We're actually two tons under. All right. So, uh, do we actually want 50 tons of anything? I don't think we do, to be honest. We could actually stick another engine here. Hang on. Shit, we could stick another engine on this. Probably not, actually. Wrong one. Yeah, because that pushes um, the class size of 0.01. And even then, we'd only have... Hang on, that pushes for tons up. Can we... Thirty thousand. Shit. It doesn't have the same range, but it definitely has the speed. Ooh. Mm. Uh, 
We get the full speed, but we'd lose the range. I don't... I'm not sure I want to like that. We'd lose... 1.2 down to 0.9. That's like a third of the speed. A third of the range. So it would have to turn back a fair bit sooner. No, I don't I don't I don't really like it. We can we can get better engines on the next run. For now, this will be fine. We could get a bit more range, but two six 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 two we'd lose six hundred kilometers a second. That's not too much of a price to pay for a little bit of a loiter time loiter loiter time. Um, alternatively, we could, for five tons, get a significantly better, hang on, all right, 26,000, okay, for the cost of 600, we can get 1.6 billion kilometers, so a little bit longer loiter time than our actual bombers, which is good, and a great uh, maintenance life, we have great speed, we don't have much armor, we could go one layer of armor, but that would be too much of a speed sacrifice. So, this is it. This is our iron shield. Okay. Now, I shouldn't be doing this. Okay, did you just because it fucked up? Elsewhere, or did you blow the fuck out of your microphone? Elsewhere. Turn it off. Um, yeah, I want to want to get stuck into the action. I don't want to be dicking around with um, this, so don't do this. It's cheap. One of each. Thirty K fire control. This might potentially also mess up my crew counts. Which is why you shouldn't be doing which is why you shouldn't do this if you can help it. Uh, Three point two power plant. Fighter engine. Let's obsolete that one. There we go. And maintenance engineering fighter. And then fuel storage. Small. No, just one small, isn't it? No, bloody hell. Fuel storage. Is that it? No, a tiny one. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so now that they are identical, reel off the design. Delete the copy. Okay, uh, was this legit? Yeah, that, that one's legit because I'm working on it. Uh, come back. Let's uh, obsolete this one. Oh yeah, I was also working out the nests. Um, somebody recommended running a box fighter, uh, a box carrier instead of the nest. And I was uh, comparing to see. So basically the idea being that um, the thing that makes a carrier military that you can't get rid of are the hangar bays, right? The hangar decks are military components by themselves, so they have to be military, so the carrier is military. The idea goes that if you take all the stuff that can be non-military and move it onto a different ship you can make those components on a commercial ship and therefore you can cut down on the maintenance cost of your carrier problem is that the next is a nest is a twenty six thousand ton carrier this is all the non hangar components with our commercial engine that are on the nest Okay, so this is the nest. This is the nest without any military components and a tractor beam. There's supposed to be a tractor beam on here. That's like 
500 tons. So you can see already that it's almost twice the mass. And the other problem is that this is only going to do about half this, maybe less than half, about half the speed. A little more than half the speed, right? Because it has the same, this is the same speed. Um, this one here is actually everything but. No, this is the... Yeah, this is me testing the, the the commercial engine. So this is how much engine power you would need to get the box carrier plus tug to the match the, the speed of the nest. And this is those 21 engines as a commercial ship. Right, so you can see that it would take 56,000 tons and 3,260 build points. Um, interestingly enough, it also takes 2,600 gallocytes to build this thing. Whereas a nest only costs 1800. Um, what that means is that uh, building a nest compared to one of these and a box nest, um, you basically get four years of maintenance for the same galaxite for the same galaxite cost. So I don't know. Um, sometimes it could be worth it. I don't see it. Especially because this thing is going to need a whole shipyard dedicated to itself. Granted, it's a commercial one, so getting a commercial ship shipyard up to 60,000 tons is easy. But the point is, it will need its own shipyard nonetheless. And that's more resource investment that is probably not really that worth it. Especially when Nest works fine. Nest work fine. They're only 26,000. They're, they're, they're good. Okay. Um, so, Iron Shield should have toggled. Yep. They've switched. Good. So, we have six. Uh, I, think the, I think the fuel's gone bad. Yeah, they've only got 5,000 fuel, fuel, so they're basically uh, dry at the moment. Um, right, so we have our iron shields. They've got the tracking speed, they've got the fire control speed, they've got everything they need. Let's go ahead and uh, set up a new squadron. PD Squadron 1. Name Iron Shield. And we are going to move all of our iron shields in there. Okay. And we are going to dock to breathe. Sign, recover. These guys are all on breathe, and he's on breathe. Excellent. Okay. We have our carrier group. And it is good. Well, we are still waiting a little bit on overhauling the nest and the columnists, as well as one of our magazine ships. So we are going to have to wait a little bit to get those done. Um, research, ECM, and our main engine is fine. And nothing else of note. Good. Let's keep on pressing on. Ground Force Training Facility is almost done. building more maintenance supplies. Uh, I'm wondering if we should get more missiles. Let's have a look at our, our missile stockpile. We've got skinks and wedge tails. We have no hornets left. Let's build another 2,000 hornets. Yeah. Build another 2,000 hornets. We should probably upgrade our uh, observation boy as well, but I think I'm going to upgrade all of our missiles once I get um, the new engine tech, because we are working on that um, in there somewhere. Yeah, we're like 45,000 away from mag fusion reactors, um, and then we'll probably about another 45,000 away from mag fusion engines. So we're getting there. We're getting there. We're up at 0.4 fuel consumption as well, which is pretty good. Let's 
keep on going. <clears throat> I'm wondering if maybe we should take um, what ships we have and just get them on their way already. Because I'm getting sick and tired of all this delay. Alright, overhaul complete, biolad and our missile carrier and we have one of our shipyards has increased. Um, that is Patterson James. Set you up. Uh, civilians scrapped some ships. Fine. Alright, that is all good and well. Um, our Boronide is going to be get extremely low. That is a concern. Uh, what Do we have any source of Boronide at the moment? I think that we do. Got 140 years of Duranium. Nice. Uh, not here. Not here. We actually have quite a lot on Mars, but oh, accessibility is crap. Um, Perth actually has 93,000. Okay, now we're fine. We're fine. Once we once we get them in, from, once we get the resources in from Perth, we we're going to have a lot. We also have a lot of Corundium here. Are you guys building anything? Yeah, you're building automated mines. Keep, keep building automated mines. You are doing good work for filthy Xenos. Twenty-three million available on uh, Australia at the moment. Okay. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? We are we're waiting overhaul and all oh, right. You're right. We're waiting for the army train. We're waiting for the convicts to get here. Oh, they're in Seoul. They're not too far off. Come on. Oh, that's taking a while. Okay, overhaul complete on barricade. Good. Uh, we've got a maintenance Voyager on maintenance failure on Voyager, four thousand still fine. Um, civilian mining colony expansion and nothing else of note. Why did that take so long? Oh, because that was a full five days. Wow. Righto. 14 days to get there. 1.43. Next on completion is blockade and then columnus. Yeah, okay. I'm going to cancel the overhaul. Nest can just deal with having a little bit of wear and tear. There's a band and overhaul. There we go. Now, that's going to take it a month. This is going to take 15 days for the uh, it's going to take 15 days for the um well close to like 12 days now it's going to take about two weeks two weeks and a bit for the um troop transports to get to australia it's going to take us a little while to sort out uh loading troop loading and organization 
Um, uh, we, okay, we got an echidna. So what we want then is uh, we want to move the echidna in. That's our first echidna. Nice. And we want to move one of the cacti out. Yeah, move the... I'm wondering if I should keep all the cacti. Just make us, like, completely immune to point defense. Or should I put one of the cacti in, back in? You know what? If blockade isn't done, I'm going to leave it behind. On the other hand, Bulwark only has a 3.7% crew grade. Hmm. Interesting. We'll see. Oh, but we have completed our engine. So, great. That is excellent work. So, what do we get? Um, yeah, so. Four hours. Right. Okay, yeah. So, we're just waiting for the overhaul to hold off. It's up to 1.35 at the moment. Well, on that note, what would be possible? I think the engine costs tend to be relatively high for ship for my combat ships. What will be the benefit though? That's the other question. Oh, army transport has arrived. Garsat and Macholtz have been exhausted. Oh dears. Macholtz is dry. Okay, so there's about a little bit less than a year of Enderite left, so we're going to drain that out, then we're going to move our Asteroid Miners. Um, I guess that's a shortage of Hornet, yeah, what's the worst is new. A uh, whole bunch of colony ships, and that's about it. Okay, first things first, let's get Army Transport. First things first. Get you on top. First, okay, let's get Army Transport sorted out. Uh, what other... I don't think we have any other um, troop transporters around here, do we? No. Okay. So, we are fully loaded on battalions. We have three grunts still in production, the third. It's going to take them until May. Now, we're going to be deploy we're going to be deploying before May. So that's probably not going to be too viable. So we'll just uh, fully load up on these guys, refuel, and we can just get them to run whatever. Yeah, they'll just follow along behind the main group. Right. Um, now for the carrier group, Got a nest with fuel, 1.27, so overhaul is still continuing. Yeah, it is going to take it a little while, but... We are still going to keep rewinding the clock a little bit more. Refuel, 18 days. 18 days left. And while we're on, while we are on route, um, 
we are also going to hopefully finish up because it's going to take us a while to get there. Um, I think it takes us about a month or so. So it's going to take a while to get there. That'll give time for our grunts to uh, complete construction and then schlep their way over there after us. Okay, jump gate construction at Ipswich underway. So that's from Townsville to Ipswich, right. Where's the other one? Is it building to Newcastle? Okay, where, where's, where are they? So the shoal water one is in Townsville. Building back to Ipswich. Shovel 2 is a new castle building to Adelaide. Yeah, so that's it there. Building back into Adelaide. So, we've got a jump gate through Adelaide. We're going to have a jump gate back out of Newcastle. We've got a jump gate from Southport to Newcastle. So, all that's left is from Newcastle to Southport. Yeah. And then it's done. Sweet. People Mover is coming in to collect another set of people. Okay, modification on shipyard, Russia and Len Rushfort and Lennon team. Add another thousand and Nonamaka heavy. Oh wait, no, that's a mini scout. Don't need you. Okay. That is fine. Kid is adding a slipway. Uh, mineral shortage, no surprise there. Yep, we're fine. Move along. 12 days for refit to wrap up whatever they've done and get us into motion. About 10 days left. We should probably get one of our... Ooh, Rockhampton has discovered Albury. Here we are. Save positions. And... Three asteroids. Sweet fuck all. Okay, Yuri. Do a grab survey after the asteroids are done. Are Omega and Henry ready to roll out yet? Come on. Okay. 
Okay, production. Walter Raleigh is up at actually almost eight years, so it's getting close to shipping him out. Uh, 0.76 almost done, and Henry Hudson's a year and a half. Yeah. Um, modification for Patterson James. Stick an extra thousand on you. Uh, Gala side. Oh, construction of ground force training facilities completed in Australia. Excellent. Uh, we have 10% ex additional construction. So we are going to shift this into fleet base. Get that out. August of this year. Excellent. Only a couple months left. Uh, new scientist. Power 20% guy. Yeah, nothing special. Ugh, 20%, nothing special. Oof, okay. Alright, overhaul complete, 4 days, 16 hours. Oh. Sixteen hours have passed, so about four days. Three days, 22 hours, 22 hours left. I'm just going to do a one day hop and try and get that overhaul complete. Or at least wrapped up. Hey, Brisbane Cargo is, is almost here. Excellent. What do they got for us? 600 Duranium, a little bit of Corbamide, a little bit of Saurium, a little bit of Corundium, 1200 Galasite. Yeah, Brisbane's paying off. Very happy with Brisbane so far. Our investment is coming to fruition. We are getting good returns at the moment. Very happy, very, very happy. No freighter overhaul. Yeah, no shit. Okay. Overhauls are complete or otherwise cancelled. Okay, blockade did is a little bit short, so yeah, we're gonna leave him behind. So we have one, two, three, four point defense buses. We've got four flat buses. We've got an anteater, which is going to help even further. Um, we could bring a second anteater. Actually, that would... That would be a scary amount. If we brought an anteater, we wouldn't have to bring another cactus. I think we can get away with two anteaters, two cacti, and an echidna. What's, what's more thirsty, a cactus or an, echid or an anteater? Anteater is 24 billion on a million. What about a cactus? Cactus is 15 on 8.5. Uh, 57.8 versus 43. Anteater is more fuel, econo fuel economic. All right, we are bringing berate. Is there a reason? No, no reason. Okay. Uh, Beratit. And we are going to leave behind Bulwark. For you have the lowest task force training of our cacti. Okay, so we have Barricade, Cactus, Echidna. We got two Anteaters. We have five nests. We got Camelbacks for all the fuel. Um... We got reindeer for our 
fleet sensor ship. We, and we have a whole heap of fighters, bombers, point defense ships, drop bears. We have a very, very nice fleet going on right now. Now, very important question. Ah, yes, we do have Marines. Excellent. One, two, three, four. How many Marines do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Hang on, who's got the drop? What capacity? Oh, right, battalions. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Is that it? That's all the Marines. Okay. Now, uh, the reason why is because a Marine Marines is a company size. That's why it's a Marine company. Um, and we get five companies in a battalion. So this is uh, this can actually handle 25 Marine companies. And we have a combat drop capacity of 25, uh, of five Marine companies as well. So just multiply, multiply that by five when dealing with Marines. Uh, when talking about com battalions. Okay, so we got all those. Um, we actually have some spare room. So I guess we can probably take the divisional headquarters. Maybe. All right, let's load those up. Now, we do have a um, spaceport in orbit, so this shouldn't take very long at all. Actually, how much of a spaceport do we have? Level one. Might be worthwhile building another. Um... No, the shipyard. No, that's shipyard as well. Spaceport, here it is. They're a little bit expensive, but worth it in the end. Okay, uh, fleet base is a 39. What's going to get done first? Fleet base, so 39. Yeah, that'll do. That'll be fine. Um, how much are they actually done? It's taken them take ten hours, and they have loaded one. Okay. It is going to take them a while to actually do it, though. One day. Yeah, it looks like it takes them about a day to load each one at the moment. Because it takes two days default to load up to load up one carrier. And then uh, we get one ship one uh, commercial yard which halves it again because it adds one more to the cargo handling. Um, so we effectively have two cargo handlers which cuts it down to about a day and fourteen day and ten hours. About something like that. Yeah, so it's going to take a couple of days to load up, but... No, that's three hours. How are we doing? Three marine companies so far. Got plenty to go. Actually, are any of these under headquarters? No, they're not. We could do this a lot faster if we load all the marine companies into the into their headquarters. Yeah. 
it's fine, just light them up. Maintenance problem, nothing special. Uh, oh, fighter combat bonus, excellent. And mining bonus. Good. Civilian administrator, Sarah Reeds. Increased mining bonus, 35%. Not sure where she's based, but doing good work. If she's getting mining bonus. Okay, production cycle of five days should be almost done loading all these marines. Yep, almost. And I think we're actually going to remove these divisional headquarters because I don't want to take any longer. <clears throat> now, middle shortage, nothing special. Civilian, nothing special. Uh, everything else is fine. I want to get this group going. Cargo Brisbane has completed orders. What are they doing? Ah, they were unloading on Australia. Okay. So, load automated mines. How many automated mines do we have on Brisbane? 213. Not bad. We're down to a 7.9 suitability cost, which is great. We are producing 17,000 minerals per year. 6,000, almost 7,000 of it being gallocytes. So, yeah, very nice holes. I like a fleet speed, 5,000. What's slowing it down though? I'm pretty sure it's a cacti. Maybe. Before I go blame blaming the cacti, what's cactus fleet speed cactus speed is six to one. Okay, so it's not the cactus. Camelbacks? Yeah, camelbacks. Okay. Camelbacks is slowing us down a bit. Okay. Cargo Brisbane. Alright, loaded, fully loaded with mines. Excellent. Brisbane mineral, use. Let's get those marines loaded, people! Done. Okay. We are ready to roll out. First things first, refuel, resupply. We are going to load ordnance. Do we have any capacity left? Yeah, we do actually have enough room. Um, we actually almost ha also have room inside the combat module, but that's just a terrible idea. Okay. This should be fine. We'll just give it an hour just quickly to 
um, cycle ordinance is everybody full of munition except for these guys which are probably lacking in mines or something everybody is full on ammo brilliant okay team reindeer and cactus are active hang on wallabies are not the latest ones oh we don't have a wyvern we don't have a wyvern we only have a wallaby does wallaby have good sensors Three forty-three, forty million res twenty, nine million versus. Okay, so it doesn't have the amazing anti-missile screen, which is a problem. But we have lots of anti-missile defense, so it's okay. Uh, it's got res twenty and it's got three forty, and it's got the thermal sensor. Yeah, no, it'll do. Oh no, that's the wyvern one. Yeah, but the wallaby sensor is still fine. Okay. Uh, on that note, get me two wyverns and a couple of cannon wyverns. Hang on. I could probably upgrade our engines on this before we actually start building them. I should do that. Ah oh well. Doesn't matter. Okay. <sighs> Let's roll out. Carrier Group Alpha. Transit to Adelaide. Transit to Newcastle. Move to Southport Jump Point. Relo refuel, refuel. Uh, detach. Where's detach tankers? Shit, did I not flag the... Oh, Camelbacks didn't want to flag the tankers for some reason. No, no. Butcher is not... There, okay. Uh, detached tankers. Okay. We are good. We have 39 magpies, 5 drop bears, 13 butchers, 8 hugans, 6 iron shields, a whole bunch of marines. We have a lot of soldiers on ships behind us. So, Adelaide, uh, Newcastle, South port move two and hold. All right. And away we go. But that'll be next episode because we are out of time. So next episode, we are going to be moving in and hopefully crushing the last remnants of the uh, NPR over there. So tune in then. And I will see you as 